What was that? Oh, my bad, mate. Sorry if I forgot to put water in the kettle. Sorry. Ow! Nice one. Dick. I thought we had company again. And you didn't put sugar in my favourite mug. Lance Armstrong's missing testicle. Sam? Yeah? We're leaving. You were scared for a minute then, weren't you? No, not because of the figure in the window, just because you thought you were going to be stuck with these two little shits carrying you through the narrative. Well, fortunately, you've got me. A calm, mature voice, gently massaging the story into your brain. Oh yes, the context. An ancient demon called Abaddon was watching one of those generic possession horror films when he had a revelation. These films are all the same. The representation of demons is incredibly one-dimensional, he claimed furiously. Fine, he said. If they want to see generic possession, then that's what they'll get. Sure enough, everyone on Earth was taken over by Abaddon, one by one, until just two remained. Which brings us back here. You see our heroic protagonists, Harry and Sam, once made the agreement that if the world ever ended, they would go on a road trip. This is their story. Right, mate, what we do is we take the M5 and then we can stop off at the Cosmos for a couple of nights. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Have you got like an aux cable or something? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Should we got enough stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about lunch? What stuff do we need? I don't know, like tea? Seatbelt! If I were to find that you were no longer close behind, I'd give all I got. Is this your old band? Yeah, well, Spotify went low, wouldn't it? Next road trip's only going to be places with 4G signal. So, what are you saying, mate? Seriously, does the Cotswolds not have signal? You're a prick. <laughs> what the hell is that? Are you making a pun? Why? Oh. I thought you were because you said, what the hell? And I assumed it's because everybody's been possessed by that guy from hell, Satan. That's a bad one. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good one. Come on, let's go. Every corner and every bend, I'm here to the very end, all for you. My you never did get signed, did you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is that all the stuff for uh, for an ear, yeah? Yeah, that's all of it, yeah. Oh, There's... Well, it's that way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Be... You're going out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I'll be a while. Just don't, you know. Well, nothing changes there then, does it, mate? Uh -huh. Be safe. What do you want? What do you want? To live life as Harry Nelson's psychic? I'm not a psychic! You could live as equals. Just let me in. <clears throat> Look, little girl, we are equals. We are friends. We have the same taste in music, the same taste in humour. We are friends. So you're a toned down copy? I'm, I'm being lectured to here by a little girl. Lie. 
you, you've never been in a band, so you wouldn't really be able to comment. Alright, mate, what's all this on? It's just. No, no, no okay, alright. You literally think that you are above everyone else, don't you? No, I don't. What's even giving you that idea anyway? It's literally. It's just. It's just how I feel ever since like college. Ever since college, ever since I've known you, you've always been sort of like the performer. I've always been your bloody audience member. I'd be your audience member. I'd be like the toned down version of you who picks up all the pieces all the time. Sam, no one thought that. And even if they did, who cares? We're the last two people on the planet anyway. You're not a toned down version of me. If anything, I'm a dickhead version of you. You're not. You're not a dickhead, mate. Eh? You're just. You're just you. Sam! Sam! Oh my god! You never get far! Mark. Mate! Oh my god! Put that tea down! No, I'm not in the mood, mate. Uh. Oh. Oh, good. We're getting a drunk montage, aren't we? You're welcome to talk amongst yourselves. Oh, wait, no, this is gin, mate. I've never been so happy. There's nothing really much else we can do now, is there? Oh, get a smash, shall we? Get bad and wasted. Why not? Cheers. Always look on the bright side of life. Leave it around. What? Leave it around. Put, 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 put them down, Sam. Put them down. I'm tired, Ooh. right? Leave them there. Sam, hurry up. Sam, hurry up! Yes. Just shake it off, come on! My head is killing me. Oh. Took your time, didn't you? Right, yeah. I've got a surprise for you today. Right. It's not like that, don't get too excited. Think you promise you're not going to open your eyes? No, 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 it's fine. Right, come on, come with me. Right. Come on. Mind the step. Oh, I said mind the step. Here we go, right. Keep coming, yeah, keep going. Do you like it? Mate. Ladies and oh, shit. gentlemen. No, 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 mate, no. Sam Roberts. There's no one there. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Oh, come on. No, no, no. You don't even like this song. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh. Yes, I know. This is it. I mean, this is, oh, to be honest, this is like kind of the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Well, enjoy it. But it is still ridiculous. Woo! Love you, yeah, woo! Oh. Mm. We love your voice. Keep singing, Sam. Keep singing. Out of breath, but it felt so cool to be Sam? Sam! If I were to find.
powerful ending, that. Breaking our two heroes apart. Tragic. I jest, of course. We must return to a state of equilibrium before we can all go home. That's how narratives work, kids. If I were to find that you were no longer close behind, I'd give all I've got, surely you're not one to lose my place in my mind. Nelson. Nice to finally meet the last human being. Abaddon? Obviously. Why me? Why is it just me left? Well, I don't know the full complexities of how the possession system works. You'd have to speak to the accountancy department. But usually it correlates with political awareness. What? It's your acceptance of political systems that keeps me from possessing you, Harry. You don't care. You're a coaster. You just roll with the tide without ever resisting it, making it impossible for me to ever sway to my side. The only way I could even get close to you was by taking away your audience. Sam was more than my audience, and since when was he ever political? Well, apparently he was. I've been following him for a number of years, and. He tweeted back in October 2016 saying, Yes, fucking Brexit. Why is Weetabix so expensive? <laughs> I thought Weetabix was English. I never said he was intelligent. So that's it then. You're just going to possess me now. You know what? That's your choice. You're no threat to me now. You can carry on without your audience, or you can accept my possession. Sam wasn't a threat to you either. The thing is, Harry, the two of you together are lethal. Got surprisingly deep, didn't it? I mean, it wouldn't be a buddy road trip film without a shoehorned political message. Ah, oh, this is convenient, isn't it? Abaddon eventually got bored of his possessed planet and allowed them all to continue as their former selves. Drunk Demon Man woke up with the world's biggest hangover. The narrator carried on being a cynical shit stain. Yeah, good one. Harry and Sam continued their road trip even after the world returned to normal, though finding places with better 4G signal. The end. All alone in a crowded place Longing to find a familiar face A little nervous and a little scared Packed and ready but so unprepared Then I saw you from across the room Little did I know that we were soon To become the best of friends Going on adventures that would never end 
If I were to find that you were no longer close behind, I'd give all I got to show you you're not one to lose your place in my this mind. journey called life. I'll always be right by your side at every corner and every bend. I'm here to the very end, all for you. In hand, we jumped into the pool, out of breath, but it felt so cool to be understood, to have a friend who swim to the bottom and back up again and again and again and again and again and again. We never got tired of each other's lives.